When I stood down from frontline politics in 2011, it was after the uh, general election. People had made a decision, and I thought it was right that the new government should have time to carry out their program. But look, six years on, there's been a very different developing panorama. No one could foresee in 2011 that we would be leaving the European Union, for example. No one could foresee that a government elected on the basis of criticizing the GSD for huge debt has now shackled the, uh, the community with generational uh, debt that will be an economic straitjacket. Uh, no one could really foresee that the public services that were going to be modernized have not been modernized. And so there are, I think, very important challenges that this community has that over the last six years have developed and have uh, emerged. And I think it's important uh, and fundamentally important for there to be a strong alternative to the government. And uh, clearly, uh, there is a need to rebuild and regenerate the party. And what I've tried to do when I said I would come back to politics in July is to play my part in the rebuilding and regeneration of the party. And if I may, uh, I just want to add this. This is not an upon an opportunistic return to politics. I had been discussing my return to politics with the GSD for many, many months. It's just that it's been accelerated by things that were unforeseen. No one could really foresee or envisage that Danny would stand down as leader as he did. Mentioning the 2011 election, do you feel that any GSD supporters might be antagonistic, uh, feeling that the PDP took votes away from the GSD then? I think governments lose elections. Oppositions don't win them. That's the reality. And after 16 years in government, it was inevitable that a, any party makes uh, mistakes and any party achieves things. So, uh, you know, the electorate took a decision in uh, 2011. It wasn't, uh, and I think it's important when things happen in life that people look in the mirror and are more self-critical about the causes for these things. It's important for everyone to do that. And if we're going to rebuild the party, uh, not to uh, hinge on the past. I think it's a bit of a myth, to be honest, to say that that happened in 2011 because of the PDP. The reality is that there were a variety, a gamma of causes for people to take a decision, not least uh, that uh, after 16 years in government, people feel sometimes that there should be a change. But the important thing for the party now is to rebuild, to regenerate and reconnect with its roots and uh, to recover the voters that the traditional voters that it had the, who who have been lost or who stayed at home at the last election that's the important thing for the party and that's what i want to do in helping to rebuild this party in terms of logistics if you become gsd leader won't this hamper the party as the leader won't be in parliament well it's not ideal of course not to be in parliament uh, it would have been preferable to be in parliament but this is not uh, something that is unique. Uh, this is happening very close by already in Spain. The, uh, the leader of the opposition was received by the king recently, uh, and he doesn't have a seat in parliament because he resigned it to contest the Besoya elections. So, of course, it's not ideal, and I'm not going to pretend otherwise. It would be better to be uh, in, if I was in parliament, but uh, I think that a lot of the work is extra parliamentary, a lot of the work that needs to be done to reach out to, to the wider electorate, to the members, to, to the people of Gibraltar is done outside parliament in my experience. Of course parliament meets once a month, but if I'm elected leader then I will ask one of my party colleagues to, uh, to lead the opposition in parliament and I will concentrate on the work that needs to be done to rebuild the party and reconnect with voters.